Rasmus, your sixth season opener. How different is the vibe now than when you rolled in here at age 18? <laughs> Honestly, the same feeling, though. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, anxious, and um, I'm excited. So uh, same feeling. Uh, I feel like it's the same feeling every year. Do you think of, okay, when I step on the ice, when they do player introduction, I don't want to fall, I don't want to step on the, any wire? Like, does that go through your mind? Is that, is that why you're so worried? Not about the game. It's more about what's happening before the game. <laughs> yeah, same, same there. I mean, I'm, I'm looking for wires on the ice, and uh, it's usually some, some other stuff on the ice, too, you can't uh, skate on. So, yeah. Uh, but also the game. I mean, uh, it's a tough, tough challenge today, and uh, we want to – everyone wants a good start. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit of everything. What have you seen from uh, other teams in the first couple of nights as you've watched around the NHL? What's caught your eye? That the pace is high. Yeah. Um, People are flying out there, so I'm sure it will be the same tonight. Wait, you know, do you guys talk about like the games from the night before when you come into the locker room? Do you have the TV on with the highlight shows when you you come into the locker room? Yeah, we do, uh, and I'm sure everyone in the team watches the game too because everyone is excited for the season. So uh, we talk about what happened yesterday, and um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a fun thing to do. You see, the fun thing about what happened yesterday, Duffer, and what happened in night one. Another penalty shot yesterday, yes. two and two. Yes. Um, you know, if you ever gotten a penalty shot, and they're not the Rangers or the league's not listening right at this moment, <laughs> what's your move if you get a penalty shot? Because <laughs> it's different than a shootout, right? I, I think the approach is different. What's your move in a penalty shot? Uh, I have two different. Uh, either you come in on the left side or the right side, okay. uh, and then I go kind of. I come in with a lot of speed. No, I can't. I can't say okay, this. Okay, that's good. That's good. That was a test, and you yeah. pass with flying color. You're, I, the art you can of deception. come from the right yes. or the left. Maybe yeah. I'll come down yes. the middle. Like exactly. you just lay it out there. Well, there was also some significant news yesterday, and that was on the heels of your significant news earlier in the week. So now, with Owen Power locked up for almost the same length of time as uh, as you, um, just give us a sense of what that all feels like and means within the group, right? when you're about to start the season uh, it's amazing that uh all these young uh, young guys um want to be here for a long time and love what we're doing and believe in it so um it just means that uh, we have great people in the locker room and um and i know the people too and they work really hard so i i, can't, I couldn't be more excited for the guys that have signed long term here and i'm sure we're going to do good things yeah you're you said that your brother wants to move to buffalo um like, what, what does he want to do here? Where does he like to live? Any restaurants he loves? Like you said, that's you love Buffalo, but your brother wants to move here. Yeah, because every time he comes here, he just just loves it. He tells me every time, and he I think he loves the American lifestyle. Football Sunday, <laughs> uh, he, he likes to grab a beer, watch hockey. He's such a sport fan, and uh, he just enjoys the lifestyle. And uh, he loves Bacchus. Um, yep. That's his favorite. So, um, yeah, he, he just loves it here. You guys go to Bills game. Has he been to a Bills game? Has your brother been to a Bills I, game? Yeah, he's been, more, he's been to more Bills games than me, yeah. Okay, so yeah. he loves going, and he's a member of Bills Mafia, so that's good. Yeah, fun fact. We always have uh, fantasy uh, with our team, and he's, yeah. he's my GM. He runs okay. my team, and I've, I'm, I'm two-time champ now, two in a row. <laughs> so he knows his stuff. So are you the assistant GM or the, and, the and assistant to the GM? There's a difference. I'm the owner. Okay. Okay, you're the owner. That's yeah, good. I owner. like that. Well, given his role with that team, I wonder if that would help as far as immigration paperwork. Like, can yeah, you, can you get a work visa? Yes. For an, yes for get being him a green card. <laughs> you're a two-time champ. You get a green card. Um, how about a word on Devin Levi as he embarks on his first full NHL season? Yeah. Uh, he's going to – He's going to see some challenges throughout the year. Um, he hasn't played 82 games, um, and he's going to learn. He's uh, It's his rookie year, and uh, I'm also super excited for him because he's such a great goalie and such, so pro professional. But he, he, he's going to be – he's going to have to find his way to play games. So you know all, all about it. Um, but, you know, the skill set and uh, his determination and – motivation is is there so i'm sure it'll turn out really good well we don't want him to give up or any goalies to give up goals here with buffalo but you guys the sabers tweeted this morning the goal songs right so um first one that caught my eye is obviously jeff skinner because he's always done great with the goal song 
Have you ever watched High School Musical? Do you know the movie? Yeah, that was my sister's favorite movie. Okay, up, so yeah. you know the song Breaking Free? That's Jeff Skinner's goal song really? this year. I mean, I would never do that, but that, <laughs> that fits Skinner on the point. So, yeah, good for him. You're more like a, a current song, right? Kendrick Lamar is your song yeah, this that's, year? Yeah, I picked it this morning. I have, I have trouble <laughs> finding a song the whole summer so uh, <laughs> i just picked some something it might change i don't know okay well you know what if you score five goals in five games like then you i did won't at, change it then right. you won't change it no then you'll just keep like it. last year yeah now as far as um your partner for tonight we expect matthias samuelson just to uh, give us a quick sense of of reuniting but also knowing that the group is different than a year ago yeah i mean me and sammy have such a good relationship on and off the ice and we on the ice we know exactly where we are and um we kind of play the same style of hockey and um he takes care of his side of the game i take care of my side so we complement each other very well and um yeah i i love playing with sammy what about the power play i watched a little bit of practice yesterday you guys were working on the power play um is there i, I mean Tage Thompson has the big bomb, right? But we saw in training camp in preseason games, Jeff Skinner can also have the one-timer, and you use the bumper a lot. So is there new wrinkles to the power play, or it's just evolving from last year to this year? Yeah, I mean, at the beginning of the year, uh, everything worked out, worked out great because no one really knew that Tomer had a absolute bomb. Yeah. So people are more aware now. And uh, we've done some, some different stuff now that we can – Uh, adjust if uh, people are just standing on Tomer. Uh, I'll, I'll be more as a threat, and uh, same with all the other four guys. So um, you know, it comes uh, it comes with time. You got to learn, and um, yeah, we gotta we gotta change some things sometimes. Like Russ, yeah, no, go good ahead. luck this season. We'll see you at four o'clock in the blue and gold carpet uh, out at RJ. You have your outfit picked already? Uh yes. Okay, good. All right, thank you. <laughs>